Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide I'm going to show you exactly how to get the brand new G-Max Pokemon Venusaur and Blastoise in the Isle of Armor. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now with the introduction of the Isle of Armor, we assumed that we would get a bunch of new G-Max Pokemon, but the only three that we have actually access to now with the release of the Isle of Armor is Urshifu, which you get from the playthrough, and then Blastoise and Venusaur. We obviously are able to obtain the starter Pokemon's G-Max as well, but they are obtainable some other ways through Max Soup. And if you are wondering about Max Soup, wonder how to do it and how to get those Max Mushrooms, I've already done a guide and I will link it up in the top right hand corner for you right now. So you can click over there and check that out after this video. But getting back to the Pokemon that are obtainable now in the wild area of the Isle of Armor, we can now obtain G-Max Blastoise and G-Max Venusaur. So what we're going to do, we jump into the games and we're going to start off by looking for G-Max Venusaur. So to start this guide and give you guys a good marker for where to begin, we're going to leave from the dojo, which everyone should be aware of. It is at the beginning of the DLC games. And from here, you want to be heading towards the Soothing Wetlands, which is the meadow area. Once you're in here, if you just head to the upper right hand corner of the meadow on the opposite side from where you've entered. Uh, you'll enter the, the woodland area and that's where we want to be going to catch Gigantamax Venusaur. Now once you've entered the Forest of Focus, you want to take a quick right here and then just follow this trail along. And what you want to be looking out for is a an opening with some water and here we are. This is what you want to be looking for and there's a single Max Raid Den on a little island in the corner and this is your G-Max Venusaur Den. So first thing what we want to do to be able to obtain this make this a bit of a quicker method for us is if we hop down to our options and just turn your text to normal we're going to be using the date uh, the the reset glitch here to make sure that we get a purple beam because G Max Venusaur only appears in a purple beam and not a red beam so what you want to be doing is dropping a wishing piece in keeping an eye on that beam for when it first spawns and if it is not purple just hit your home button come back reset the game and start again so as you can see we are going through this process it did take me a few times but eventually got the purple den so once you've got that what you want to be doing is just coming back to your menu screen going into your options make sure that your text is turned back to fast and uh, also make sure that your auto saves are turned off as well it is important if you if you don't catch the pokemon and you have a save in front of it uh, once the raid has finished then you you will lose the pokemon unfortunately you want to just save at this point and then once we've got the purple beam we want to do the date skip glitch so it is invite others you don't need to be online to do this go down to your home menu system settings date and time and then just skip the date forward once come back into the game quit out of the den and that will inadvertently change 24 hours of the clock change the pokemon in the den give you the next frame and you want to just keep doing this until you find g max venusaur now this did take me a long while to do and um, but once you have found it you want to save in front of it just in case it does escape from the the pokeball once you try and catch it and then enter the battle so it's a really quick straightforward method to do this but it is a little bit of a grind as i say it did take me maybe an hour probably tops to um, actually cycle through through and it almost felt very similar to finding G Max Charizard from the uh, the Galar region and trying to hunt for that one. Um, but we do manage to eventually get it. Obviously, I do open the raid up and uh, host a Max raid, which gives me a little bit of a better chance to catch this Venusaur. And it'll be interesting to see if the hidden abilities are available within these dens as well. Obviously, Venusaur has that chlorophyll ability. That's probably the one that you want, doubling its speed when the sun is on the field. So we do manage to catch this Venusaur, which is very, I'm very happy about because uh, G-Max Venusaur probably one of my new favorite Gigantamax Pokemon and one that I'll be using probably quite a lot in battles in the future so we will hop over into a summary screen and as you can see it is chlorophyll so it does confirm that the hidden abilities of these Gigantamax Pokemon is available it will need um, hyper training and probably a mint but that is that is perfect so next things next we're going to go after Blastoise but before we do that just to give you a heads up this is the what trader on the Isle of Armor where you can buy 
wishing pieces, Pokeballs, potions, whatever you want for the cost of watts. He is located right beside the dojo out the front, so you can use that. Now, to get Blastoise, we're going to take a route of going from the dojo once again. That's our starting point, and we'll be heading out through the soothing wetlands once again. We want to be making our way to the water type dojo, which you can just see in the distance here, and we're going to use that as a marker to get to the Blastoise den. Now, Blastoise and Venusaur obviously have their new signature move moves and their G-Max moves are really similar to the effects that Charizard has um, with the uh, G-Max Wildfire where it chips down a sixth of the damage of the Pokemon uh, affected by this move uh, for the next four turns. Now uh, Venusaur is obviously a grass type and then Blastoise is, is a water type. So once you're in this area what you want to be doing is heading out to sea but we don't wanna be going that way, we wanna take this route. So you wanna be going, once you're at the dojo, you wanna be taking a, a left. Um, and then what we wanna be looking for is an island with kind of like a tunnel running through it. So that's what we're looking out for. If you're aware of how to evolve Slowpoke into Slowbro in this game, uh, the, the NPC character that actually makes the basket for you, um, this is the island that you want to be heading towards. We're just going to try and dodge some Sharpedos here and we'll just quickly make our way around. The Sharpedos are crazy in this game. Honestly, I feel like really interesting and active to get involved with. Right, you can see the island up ahead in the distance and as you can see, it's kind of got a groove to it with a, ton a, a sort of tunnel running through it. Now, this is the the, uh, the den where G-Max Blastoise is located. So once we are here, we're gonna do exactly the same process for what we did with the Venusaur. We're gonna have to get a purple beam because it will only appear in a purple beam. Um, and then once we've done that, we can use the Datescape glitch to cycle through the dens until G-Max Blastoise appears. As you can see, that's the spot on the map. And uh, this is other, another location where you can actually, a Rotom will appear, spawn randomly every day, depending on the weather. Um, so we'll save our game, but first we just need to make sure that our text is turned to normal because if it's fast, it's very difficult to actually reset the game before the den is spawned. And if the den spawns before you can reset, then you are stuck with that den. You have to go find another den, reset this one, and then come back to it. So it's a it's just a step to make this a little bit easier. So as you can see, we're going through the same process again, just resetting the game until we get that purple den and by magic we eventually get it and that's the first step in this process the next step is obviously to turn our text back to fast then uh, obviously again make sure that your auto saves are off um, and then save the game in front of this den and then we can start the date skip glitch so we just invite others like we did before that Venusaur den come back to our home menu down to system uh, date and time skip forward and then come back into the den quit out and then go back in and the Pokemon should have changed and you do this over and over again until you find G-Max Blastoise which we have eventually found so far get attacked by a wild Rotom but uh, as you can see I've opened this up again if it's anything like the the dens in the wild area from the the Galar region then uh, it does give you a better chance to catch the Gigantamax Pokemon if you are hosting it so this is why we're doing it it also gives other trainers a chance to catch this uh, this Pokemon as well especially being a new one it is a nice one to um, host if you have got access to it. Now, there we go, we got the, the Blastoise and it's still gonna be interesting to see if this Blastoise um, has access to its hidden ability. Obviously, Blastoise has the hidden ability Rain Dish, so if it does and we are able to catch it, it does confirm that you can get hidden ability Gigantamax Blastoise from this den. So as you can see, we do catch it. You get a bunch of um, really nice rewards as well for catching the Blastoise. The Armorite Ore is the big thing here. We get three, um, a bunch of TRs and some Gigantamax mix along with those candies. So that's ideal. And if we hop into our summary screen, we can check out this Blastoise and uh, we can see if it is the one that we're after. And it is, it is Raindish. So that does definitely 100% categorically firm that both these Gigantamax Pokemon are available in their dens with that Gigantamax form and their hidden abilities. Now this does take a little bit of time. You've got to have a little bit of patience doing this, but it is so worth it. These uh, new Gigantamax Pokemon are going to be very strong. Obviously, the Kanto trio of Gigantamax Pokemon with the Charizard is now complete, so that's great. And uh, I'm sure we'll probably get a lot more of them in the run-up to uh, the 
well with the crown tundra being released later on this year so uh, that does it that wraps everything up for us my friends i hope you've enjoyed this this episode this video hope you found this guide useful for where to find these gigantamax pokemon and the methods that we're using within the video uh, if you've got any comments or questions about anything in the video as always do leave them in the comment section down below and i'm happy to answer any questions that you do have if you have enjoyed the video as always do drop a like and uh, if you're new to the channel obviously do subscribe join the family and if you, you will enjoy all of the sorts of content that we do from guides to competitive play news updates and everything to do with pokemon so i'm gonna leave it there so thank you so much for tuning in my friends have a great day whatever you're up to and i'll catch you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye